So this is the G-Force Golf Club. This is a 55 degree wedge, not a normal club. It's a training device. You can use it on the golf course actually, but it's a training device, super flexible shaft. So I'm gonna use this because it's incredible for training short game because it helps with rhythm, timing, and the release, which we're gonna talk about now. Take a setup, point the club back at your sort of belt buckle, have a little bit of body pivot back and through this way, but actually, let's use the wrist both sides and let's keep the grip pointing at the belly button. So you can see that I'm letting the club swing around my body. Okay, this is, I cannot stress how important this is. Just letting the club swing around your body, feeling the weight of the club. But the next little exercise was to take a setup, move the club back, have a little bit of wrists, and you're gonna do what I call a three club drop drill. So I'm gonna keep the lead arm in place, let the club drop to the ground. Okay, I'm gonna do that three times. After the third time, I'm gonna let the club drop to the ground, and if I didn't do anything, the club would drop here. To make sure it lands in line with the golf ball, I'm gonna use my body turn. So for me to contact the ground, where the ball is, I've got to let the club drop to the ground and I've got to match it with a body turn. So that would look like this. We go here, we go one, two, three, and go through. Okay, notice that the club still points back at me. I let the club head swing and I married up the club going down and my body turning. So we go back, we go one, two, three, and turn. I mean, look how easy it is to hit a little pitch onto the green. I landed the club exactly where I needed to. I felt very little tension through my hands. I was letting the club swing, which is so important. And I've got a pretty good result. It's a great little drill. And this club makes that incredibly easy to do because as soon as I start to make these snatchy movements, the club's gonna react. I'm not gonna hit any good shots at all. So the final little exercise, I love this one. If you only do one of these, make it this one. Okay, really tapping into the natural talent you've got, your natural ability, and just really in that club swing, okay? Hold the golf club, one hand only. Start some three to four feet back of the ball, and just let that club swing. Match it with the body turn, let that club swing, okay? And all I want him to do is do this and just start to walk into the golf ball, okay? So letting the club swing, letting the club swing, and eventually you're gonna arrive at the golf ball. That wasn't hard enough, but the strike was great. Okay, I'm gonna do that again for you. Start here, let the club swing, land it on the ground, and just shuffle forward until you get to the point where the golf ball gets in the way. That's a pitch shot. Feels incredibly simple, incredibly easy, because I'm using the golf club the way it was meant to be designed. I'm returning the club to vertical, which means I'm using the sole of the club, which is this part here, that's gonna glide along the ground. That's actually gonna give you a slightly greater margin for error. So if you land the club slightly early, you're still gonna get a decent result. It might not be perfect, but it's still gonna be decent. When we start to change the angle this way, when we start to use the wrists at the wrong part, when we start to introduce some of the full swing elements to our short game, we start to push the leading edge down, our margin for error gets much narrower, and we don't hit as good as shots. So I've always seen great short game players be able to hold the club in one hand, and let's say I'm doing a little bit of a chipping exercise, I'm trying to pick the golf balls up, I could just walk up to a golf ball and just chip it. It's gone a little left, but it was a good strike. Let me show that again. I'm not ever gonna miss strike this, so just walk up to a golf ball and just chip it onto the green. Now, how easy does that look? It would never ever make sense to me to hit that shot like this. You know, drag the handle and then drive the handle. So I'm gonna get all sorts of reactions in that. And when I do that with this club, the shaft overly bends and I get terrible results. So try that. Just hold it in one hand. Just walk up to golf ball, very relaxed. A little bit of body turn, let the club land on the ground and you're gonna hit some pretty good shots. That was a little thin, but that was okay. You're tapping into your natural movements. Okay, final thing was just to put all those things together. And using this club with this shaft is ideal because it means that I'm really aware of the club head through the motion. I'm really conscious of it swinging. So easy to hit shots like that. 